Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube video. Today it's going to be an update video on a couple of projects I've been working on. Those who may remember in the previous video, I got in a whole bunch of stuff from my friend and I've just restored a couple of them. One of them in particular I'm very happy with. So let's start off with this. Let's start off. First, this is the only handsaw I kept out of them all. It's an old Craftsman that I refurbished. Didn't do much to it. I got the rust off the blade and resharpened the saw teeth. And the handle has no major cracks in it. It's perfect for what I do when I'm cutting big chunks and don't want to risk using an electrical saw. So that was a good little keeper. Uh, next, another one of the hand saws I kept. I modified it to my purpose. It originally was a small hand saw that had a curve right here, but that piece broke off. And I was able to cut the groove deeper right here and made it to where you can grip your hand. And I chopped a little bit of the blade off so I can get into certain areas deeper. Perfect little saw. Uh, next is on a couple of the sickles. Here's one that I restored. I put an old chisel handle on it. And then put some brand new bolts in it. Cleaned up really nice, then gave it a nice black paint job. That's going to go great in my collection. Sadly, was not able to lift a brand off of it. There is a number of companies that made this. But I can definitely tell it wasn't that old. This one's probably from the 70s. This one I was able to lift a brand off of. This one says Dustin USA. D-I-S-S-T-O-N. USA. Never heard of it. It's got a nice thick blade on it. And I restored and refurbished the handle. And again, same black paint job. Turned out really nice. Beautiful addition to my collection. And this one I already have. This one I might actually sell. This one's a Ken Cutter. I have this exact one in my collection already. Again, I refurbished it, gave it a black paint job, cleaned up the handle, retightened the rivets, and voila. So this one I might just put for sale since I already have one. Uh, then on the shears, I already chopped them down. Here's the blades. Those are going to make some nice knives. The handles that were on them were too badly gone, as you can see. So these are basically firewood, because they're too, too far gone for me to salvage. As long with all the handles, I was able to keep one of the handsaw handles, besides the one that's on the Craftsman. So I find a decent blade, I'll put it in this. Uh, as far as the blades go, I've already stripped them off. Here's one of the small blades. And here's one of the other small blades. Again, I'll blast the rust off of each one of these and just see what I can work with. And here's one of the ones that was on a small one. And then here's one, a couple of the large ones. Great to make a machete out of. Or a butcher's knife. Another one. This one I had to cut the handle off because it, was, it wasn't coming off, no matter how hard I tried. The screws were stripped, I couldn't get them out, so I just chopped it off. Yep. Then here's another one of the big ones. Same thing, screws wouldn't come off because they were stripped, so I just chopped it off. And then all the old pieces of wood, I just put into my wood bucket. That'll be burnt for firewood. And, oh, I almost forgot. Let me uh, get these real quick. Don't just show I don't throw anything away. These are some of the screws I was able to get out of. This one just says Made in USA. Made in USA. And a couple of just regular screws. And these are made out of aluminum except for one. And one of these says Craftsman on it. And I'm actually going to give these to a friend of mine. One of my buddies does leather work, and he said these would be great for leather sheets. So I'm going to send these to him free of charge. So I hope you enjoy these, my friend. Yeah, I'll put them in my pocket so they don't fall. Uh, that's, oh yeah, I almost forgot that one. One last update is in one of the previous bundles, I got another pair of shears. I disassembled them. And I kept the kept the handles because the ones for these were actually well in well in good enough shape. Start with that. And last but not least is my favorite. 
Those who may remember, I got a sickle blade in yesterday from a friend, or a side, whatever you prefer to call it. And it was too badly pitted to make and do a decent knife, but I didn't want to throw it away. So I kept thinking back and forth, what could I do with it? And since it's a wall hanger anyway, I decided to refurbish it. Put a nice walnut handle on it and refurbish the blade. And then this has got a steel shaft with a tang going all the way in and one giant one inch bolt connecting the whole handle together. And it does still somewhat function, but the edge is badly pitted, but it still cuts pretty good. And sadly, was, there was a brand on it, but it was too badly pitted to make out what it was. But judging from the blade, this is probably from the 30s or 40s because of the way it was put together. Still turned out gorgeous, and this is another gorgeous piece for my collection. I actually do not have one of these in my collection, ironically, because majority when I find them, they're either too expensive or they're too badly pitted to put in my collection. Since this one was worth cleaning up, I decided to do it anyway. And then put some beautiful tiger stripes in the handle. And one of my friends also commented there's supposed to be two handles, one here and one here. Yes, majority of the old sickles had those because that way it would improve your curve the way you swing it. But since I don't intend on using this anyway, no point in putting those handles on. And majority of the modern sickles or size, whatever you prefer to call, most of them don't have those handles anyway. So there's no point in putting them on anyway. Overall, great project. I'm glad this is in my collection now. Oops, don't want that to fall. All right, that's all the updates I've got. I hope you enjoy those rivets, my friend. I'll send them to you as soon as possible. And I hope you guys enjoy. And as always, stay sharp and keep collecting.